class. This is my first yoga class on Twitch. Happy to do this. I also just draw a card from my uh, oracle cards, shamanic healing cards. I love this. And I have a message for you that I'm gonna reveal to you by the end of the class. So we can begin the class. I'm just gonna pretend I have plenty of people there, but those who said we join probably either they are sleeping or Never mind, we can begin. I will lower down the music and let's take let's take a moment here with the eyes closed. So um, the class I will do today it's usually my um, my my own practice. I'm just gonna do that because since I don't know yet who's gonna join, I don't know what's your level yet, and I, uh, I'm just gonna practice my my uh, hatha practice that I usually do every morning. So let's begin. Take a moment here to relax and prepare your mind for the class. Roll your shoulders up and back and down. And rest your hands on the knees, palms facing up or down. Take a deep inhale. Let go tension, let go worries, let go overthinking, just take a moment here and relax. Focus on your breathing and if you have noises around like my neighbors, they have inside work and progress responding, just it's okay, never mind, keep focusing on your breath, notice the air in and out, the nostrils, and in the meantime, start relaxing yourself, relax the forehead, eyes, facial muscles, take a little space in between your feet, and you will notice how the facial muscles will relax deeper. Move your tongue in your mouth. With every exhalation, lower down the shoulders. Let go. Let flow. Breathe. Relax the chest, belly. Try to use abdominal breathing. Feel the belly rising with each inhale. And going towards the spine while exhale. Also during the practice, breathe all the time. Never hold your breath. Breathing will help you. Feel less tired in the toes. Maybe also, um, what happened? Maybe also, um, this, uh, feel less fatigue. I don't know what was the sign. Thank you. If something happened there. So just relax here for a moment. Bend the elbows, bring the hands to the heart center. Stay relaxed. We're gonna chant three ohms to begin with. We're gonna inhale and exhale to ohm with an exhalation. Let's begin. Inhale. Uh, Let's 
say three times thank you will be the mantra for the day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every morning when you wake up, be thankful for a new day, the chance, and many possibilities we are given every morning when we wake up. Now we lift the hands and slowly open your eyes. I'm just going to check if somebody's here. Yes, somebody's here. Thank you for watching who came in. Uh, we'll begin. I'm going to here you go. play the music and I hope you can hear me. Feel free to leave comments and also, as I mentioned earlier, if you are not in, uh, I'm just going to, we, we're going to practice about an hour, an hour or something together. If you have blocks, that would be good. If not, you can use books or something that can replace a block, just in case. Okay? Let's begin. Extend your legs forward and just shake, shake a little bit. Flex the toes, point the toes forward and back a few times. It feels weird to practice like that. I know there's somebody there, but it's still weird to rotate your anchors. Let, leave your comments so I know who is inside. Wow, my love. Thank you for coming in. Take your anchors inward and outside. Circles. Cross back. Change the cross of the leg. I hope you can see me. And feel the sitting bones into the ground. Walk your fingertips forward and lower down elbows and forehead. Take a moment here. If the floor is too far, remember. Oh, wow, my love. <laughs> Keep the forehead into the block, or you can use a pillow here. And breathe. Feel the sitting bones into the ground. Do not lift the hips up. Stay five. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Two and one. Inhale, lift your head up. Remove the block if you have one. Stretch your legs again. Extend and shake. Bend the knees one more time. Feet together. Now hold your ankles. Move your feet towards you, or either you move towards your heels. Hold your ankles. If you have knee trouble, use pillows under the knees. Hold your ankles, spine is straight but relax and move your knees up and down a few times. We're going to warm up a little bit before beginning. You guys, during the practice, if I'm giving any instruction that doesn't feel good to you, feel free to keep moving in butterfly, Bhagavanasana. Uh, feel free to bring the modification that works for you, okay? Stay here another five, relax the shoulders, four, three, two, and one. Just cross legs, relax here, and rotate your neck towards the right a few times without lifting up the shoulders. So make small circles, I mean not small circles, how to say it, like slowly circles at your own pace. Without bringing the shoulders up, you rather bring the ear towards the shoulder. Now switch, go towards the left. Love yourself, so be gentle with your body, respect your body most of all. Here you go. Three more. Two. And last one. And come back to center. Inhale, arms up, interlock fingers, turn the palms towards the ceiling, towards the sky if you are outside, feel the sitting bones into the ground, inhale here, stretch the elbows, exhale to the right, inhale center, stretch, exhale to the left, two more like this, center and right, Look at the opposite corner of the eye. 
in the center. Exhale. Left. Now come back to center. Inhale here. Exhale. Right hand goes down. Press the palm into the ground. And exhale again. To the right. Bend the right elbow. Keep the sitting bones into the ground. Now you will feel the left hip lifting up. Keep it down. Stay here. Soft neck. Breathe three, two, and one. Inhale back to center. Exhale left. Press the palm into the ground. Look at the right corner of your eye. Keep the right hip down. Breathe five, four. Soft neck, soft shoulders. Three, two, and one. Inhale back to center. Interlock fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders up and down. Stretch the elbows. Push your chest up. Open the chest. Inhale here. Bring the knuckles down into the mat. Stay three, two, and one. Inhale back to center. Exhale four, four. Bring the elbows with you, arms with you. Stay five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale back to center and release. Rest the hands on the knees and roll your shoulders back for three, two, and one. Forward three, two, and one. Extend again, legs forward and shake. Keep your legs together. Push through the heels. Point the toes towards you. Let me change the music. Shuffle. Okay. Here we go. Point the toes. Push through the heels. Legs together. Inhale, arms up. When you bring arms up, always make sure you don't do this. You don't bring your shoulders to your ears. Keep the spinal stretched but relaxed. Shoulders are always down. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Catch anything that's accessible to you. Maybe your feet or shin bones or you might use a belt or a bandana. Inhale here again. Exhale to fold. And breathe here for five. Keeping your neck relaxed. Shoulders relaxed. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale slowly to come back up. Bend the knees. Cross and come to all fours. Tabletop. Now in tabletop you will have arms shoulder distance apart you spread the palm nice and wide into the mat so we avoid wrist pain hips uh, knees hip distance apart right under your hips we do a few cat and cows here to warm up the spinal a little bit so cat and cows are like this you keep your toes tap or not your choice if you have knee trouble just you might roll your mat under your knees or use it this way. You can fold it under your knees. So you have more cushion there for the knees. Also remember, bring the modification that works for you in any pose. Okay, so let's begin in cat and cows. What we do is you will inhale, pressing the palms down. You keep the shoulders back. You're not collapsing here. And you arching your back, you stick your buttocks up. Exhale, you bring chin to chest. You look in at your belly button, you round your back. Always pressing the palms into the ground. Alright, so let's keep going. Four, seven, inhale up, look up. Exhale, round, chin to chest, look at your belly button. Exhale, everything up. Inhale, six. Exhale. Inhale, five. And exhale. Inhale, four. Exhale. Three. And exhale. 
two more, inhale up, exhale out, last one, inhale up, and exhale. Now, come into an ultra spinal, tuck the toes in the back, with the next inhalation, look down in between your hands, inhale, lift your knees up, engage abdominal, exhale, you pushing your hips back and up towards the ceiling, you dropping your chest forward and head down, look in between your, uh, look at your belly button behind you, exhale, completely stretch the legs, bring the heels down, and lengthen the back here in Adho Mukha Shwanasana, downward facing dog, now in downward facing dog, move your head from side to side, say no, to make sure your neck is relaxed, and stay here for five, also feel free to move from side to side, to release pressure for three, two, you might as well bend the knees, forward the back, it's our first downward facing dog, two, and one, now look at your fingertips, at your palms, look at your hands, walk your hands towards you, towards the back of your mat, keep the feet as wide as your mat, exhale, bend the knees, and come into a squat, bend the elbows, hands at the heart center, you slightly Pressing inside the knees to open the hips here a little bit. Stay five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the palms down, fingertips down. Inhale, come back up and walk back to downward facing dog. Stay another three, two, and one. Now bring your feet together. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels to the left, and twist here a little bit, inhale, heels up, heels to the right, two more like this, to twist, beautiful, now walk the other way around, keep your feet together, walk your feet towards the top of your mat in small steps, what happens if you cannot, uh, the floor is too far, Come onto your fingertips, walk, 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 keep your feet together once you reach your feet in between your hands, again, if the floor is too far, bring your hands on the shin bones, inhale to a flat back, exhale, belly to tie, bend the knees, drop the head up, now inhale again to a flat back, stretch the legs, by gazing down, you rolling yourself up, roll yourself up, press the feet into the ground and come all the way up, while we're doing this, so we do not feel dizzy, now you can gaze forward and let's do a few sun salutation here, so feet together, big toes touching each other, engage glutes, means the inner thighs are pressing against each other, glutes are engaged, pull the knee cup up, legs are strongly pressing into the ground, feet, inhale, come all the way up, palms together, look up at the big toe, exhale, forward, forward, belly to thigh, feel free to bend the knees, inhale to a flat back, exhale, step the right leg in the back, right knee down, bend the left knee, look forward, Push the knee forward, open the chest. Come again, fingertips, hands down, step back into a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Roll your shoulders back, always remember, keep the toes tight. Inhale, come forward, low cobra. Now again in low cobra, make sure your not doing this with the shoulders, keep your shoulders rolled back, look up, exhale, downward facing dog, stay three, two and one, inhale, step the right foot, right leg in between your hands, left knee down, 
stick your chest up, look forward, lift the left knee up and step forward, feet together, hands, hands in Namaste, the heart center, inhale, come all the way up, extend, arms up, look at the big bum, give a gently back bend here, follow the big bum with your hands, with your hands, with your legs, exit, heart center, one more, inhale, let's begin from here, extend, give a gently back bend, remember engage glutes, exhale, four fold, inhale, halfway up, flat back, now this time you're gonna step the left foot at the back, left knee down, stick your chest up, exhale, plank pose, knees, chest, chin down, Come all the way forward, low cobra. Axel, downward facing up. Halfway up, jump. Up, facing dog. Downward facing dog. Construction. So let's continue here. We'll do a few more Surinam Skarbi. So feet together, big toes touching each other. Engage glutes, inner thighs together, roll shoulders back and down, inhale, bend the knees, come up, chair pose, Uttanasana, stay five, four, three, two, one, exhale to four. Heavy head, belly to back, inhale, halfway up. Now here either you jump back, or you step back. If you jump, bring the palms down into the ground, bend the knees. You hoping, you moving yourself, uh, heels up, and hop back into a plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Remember, shoulders are rolling back. You're not doing this. Here you go. Ties up, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Say no with the head always to make sure you relax. Lengthen the back, spread the fingers into the mat. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, step the right foot in between your hands. You bring in the left heel down. Toes are pointing 45 degrees, both eyes are facing forward. Bend the right knee, inhale, Vira Pradasana 1, exhale, back. Frame the right foot, step back to plank, feet together, in plank you shift the weight forward. Bend the elbows, lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, stay three, stay no with the head. Two and one, inhale, look at your hands again. Step the left foot in between. This time you bring the right heel down. Bend the left knee, press the left foot strongly into the back. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Step back, plank pose, feet together. Remember, shift the way forward. Spread the fingers into the mat, lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We stay five, four, three, two, one. Feet together. Remember, either you bend the knees and hop forward into a flat back, or you can step one feet at a time. In between your hands, feet together, flat back, axle to fold. Bend the knees, hips down, inhale, arms up, shoulders away from you. Chair pose again, three, two, one, inhale, all the way up. Let's do this one more time. We bring some uh, more additional. We modify a little bit Virabhadasana. Oh my God. 
सूर्य नमस्कार बी और राइट सो अगेन हू फिट टूगेदर बिग टो स्टचिंग दी चादर इन हेल्प बेंड द नीज हिप्स डाउन चेयर पोज एक्सेल फॉर फोर हैंड्स बाय द साइड रिमेंबर टू यूज ब्लॉक्स इफ यू हैव और यू कैन ब्रिंग हैंड्स ऑन द शिन बोन्स इन हेल्प टू अ फ्लैट बैक एक्सेल टू फोर again you can jump or step into plank chaturanga inhale up or facing dog exhale down or facing dog inhale step the right foot in between your hands left heel down bend the right knee inhale vira pradasan one more and one exhale frame the right foot now what you going to do you going to lift the left heel off the mat and turn your weight into your left hand slide the right foot at the center of your mat you turning yourself into your left foot the side of the left foot not collapsing here strong left hand in her right hand up side plank vajrasthan this is modified helping to stay here or you can hop the right foot on top of the left and stay 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1x right hand down come back to a plank pose shift the weight forward Bend the elbows lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale upward facing dog. Exhale downward facing dog. We take three here. Keep the neck soft. Remember, two and one. Inhale left foot. Step in between your hands. Right heel down. Bend the left knee. Inhale to come up. Exhale. Frame back. This time we turn the right heel up, turn the weight onto the side of your right foot, slide the left foot at the center of your mat. You bring it all the way into the right hand. Inhale, left hand up. So remember, either you stay here with a side plank modified, or you can hop the left foot on top of the right and stay. For ten, nine, soft neck. Whew, it's very hot in this room. Eight, seven. Do not collapse here. Hips up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, left hand down. Feet together. Bend the elbows. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay five. Soft neck. Four, three, two, one. Feet together. Remember, either you step or you hop forward at the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale to four. Four. Belly to tight. Hips down. Chair. Uttanasan. Three, two, one. Push through the feet. Inhale to come up. All right. Now from here, hands on the hips. You gonna step your. I'm gonna step the left foot at the back, so I can turn towards you, so you can see me. From here, you gonna turn. Keep the right toes out. Ninety degrees. Left toes pointing forward. Bring your heel, left hip slightly outside. Again, if you have blocks, keep it by your side. Inhale, arms parallel to the ground. Exhale here. Inhale again to open the right side of your body. Exhale. You reaching. You want to pass your feet. Bring the hand into the block or into onto the floor. Inhale to open the left side of the chest. Left arm extend up. 
equally lengthen your neck and look up at your left hand. Utite trikonasan, we stay five, four, three, two and one. Exhale, left hand down to the hip, gaze down at your right toes. Slightly bend the right knee, take the block or not and move it outside your right pinky toe. Hop yourself into the right foot, push through the left heel, adjust yourself to find your balance. Left hand comes up. Again, if you can, look up at your left hand or just gaze forward. Stay five. Ardha Chandrasan, four. Three, two, and one. Exhale with control. Come back. Bring the left foot down. Bend the right knee. Slide the block outside your right foot or not. You can bring the fingertips down or completely the right palm into the ground. Here you go. I'm using the blocks. Open the chest. My back is in line with my hips. I inhale left hand up again and exhale above my left ear. I'm pressing the outside of my left foot into the ground so I feel a nice extension to the left side of my body. I stay here, soft neck or I look up at my left elbow for fat. Side angle, four, three, two, and one. With the next inhalation, I push through my hairs. I keep the right knee bent. I come up into Virabhadrasan two. Now, strong arms. Shoulder blades are going away from each other. Look at the right hand, right middle finger. Keep the right knee bent. Stay five, four, three. Two, one, exhale, extend the right knee, hop the left foot slightly to the side so your both thighs are pointing forward. Open a little bit wider, inhale, bend the right knee again, palms up, hands up, arms extended, Viro Pradasan, one. Remember to keep the shoulders down. If this is too much, you can bring the cactus hands inside. Stay five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, hands at the heart center. You keep it both eyes facing forward. The right knee bend. Bring the left heel off the ground. Hop yourself forward into the right foot. Extend both legs, push through the left heel, left toes are pointing down into the mat, stay here, level your hips, five, four, three, two, one, with control, bend the right knee, you're coming back down, extend the right uh, right knee, right leg, you're still having both thighs facing forward. Bring the hands, bend the elbows, hands at the back. Either you hold your elbows like this or reverse Namaste. Okay, let's go back. Here you go. So this time my feet are not in line. My right heel is not in line with my left. If I keep it in one line, I'm losing my balance. So my left foot is slightly to the left. Here you go. Open the chest with a nice inhalation. Gaze forward. Exhale to fold towards my right knee. I'm folding for my belly. And stay. Five. Four, three, soft neck, soft shoulders, two, and one. Inhale to come up and release the pose. 
adjust your block if you have one and if you need one outside your right foot. Inhale, left hand up, left arm up. Exhale, reach your block or the floor outside your right foot. Exhale out, inhale again, right hand extend towards the ceiling. I push my left chest towards the side. So again, I'm trying to bring my back in line with my hip into a reverse trikonasana. I breathe again. If you want to look up at your right hand, you can. But before you do that, equally lengthen your neck and then you look up. If not, just gaze forward. Paribrita trikonasana. Stay five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to come up slowly and nice. Bring the right toes in, feet parallel to each other. Move at the back of your mat, heels in line with your mat. Toes in, heels up. Open a little bit wider. Interlock fingers behind your back. Roll the shoulders back and down. Open the chest. This is what I'm doing. I'm extending my um, elbows. I'm opening my chest here. Remember, heels out, toes in. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Bring the arms with you again. Bring. Uh, keep the palms together if you can. Keep equal weight into the toes and heels. And stay here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Slowly come all the way up. Gaze down so you don't feel dizzy. Exhale. Take a moment here. Inhale. Look forward. Walk again at the center of your mat. This time you keep the right toes in. Left toes goes up. Bring the block by your side if you think you need it. Or maybe not. Hands parallel to the ground. Exhale here. Inhale again to open the left side of the body. Exhale. You are trying to reach past your left toes. Bring the hand into the floor, into the block or into the block. Right arm extend up. So I open my chest. I equally lengthen my neck before I look up at my right hand. And I breathe here for five, four, three, Two and one, exhale, right hand into the hip, gaze down at your left toes, bend the left knee, strongly press the left foot into the ground, take the block, place it outside your left pinky toe, and hop yourself into the left foot. Oops, if you are uh, coming off the pose like me, that's okay. Try again, adjust the block until you find your balance. Open the chest, open the side of the body. Right hand comes up. Adha Chandrasana, you see my left side, it's not so balanced like the right. To stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. With control, you exhale, bend the left knee and come back. Slide, bring the black block outside your left foot, hand into the block or into the ground. Bend the left knee, inhale, right hand up, exhale, right hand, right arm extend above your right ear. Now remember you push the right side of the chest this time towards the back. Either you stay here or you look up with your right elbow and stay. Five, four, three, two and one, push through the heels, strong feet into the ground. Inhale to come up into the Brudasana 2. Warrior 2. Look at the left hand, left middle finger. Bend the left knee. Outside of the right foot pressing down. 
Stay five. Ooh, four. Three. Two. And one. Extend the left leg, the left knee. And now you're going to hop the right foot slightly to the right. Turn yourself, look forward. Both eyes are facing forward. So, open a little bit wider. Inhale, bend the left knee. Bring arms up. Hands together. Look up with your big tongue. If you have trouble, neck trouble, you just gaze forward. As well, remember to not bring the, the shoulders up with you, but keep it down or cactus hands. And stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Hands of the heart center. Turn the right heel up. Strongly press the left foot into the ground. And hop yourself forward into the left foot foot, left leg, level your hips, push through the right heel, stretch your legs, strong left arms, oh my god, strong left leg, and stay, five, four, three, two, and one, with control, come back, now remember, bring the arms in the back, and either you hold your elbows, or reverse namaste both eyes are facing forward inhale to open the chest and exhale to forward fold belly to thigh strong press the feet into the ground level your hips you see how my right hip is coming up i'm trying to bring my right hip down towards the mat so my hips hopefully are in one line soft neck soft shoulder and stay five four three two and one inhale to come up release bring the block outside the left foot again if you need one exhale here with the next inhalation, bring the right arm up to inhale and open again. Exhale, right hand into the block or into the floor. Exhale again. Inhale, left arm extend up. In reverse. Paridrita uh, Trikonasana. And remember, you equally lengthen your neck before you look up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale. And inhale to come up. Feet parallel to each other. Turn your right toes out and hop at the top of your mat. Feet together and release. I think should be enough for today. Let's go, sit and let's do a few, um, I'm going to also shuffle the music, go down on your back, oh my god again, and bring the knees with you, have your knees into the chest, keep the shoulder blades down, Lower back down, gaze up at the ceiling and stay here. Feel free to move from side to side. To release pressure and tension and relax. Stay five, four, three, Two and one. Keep the right knee up. Extend the left leg down. Take five here. Four. 
three, two and one, switch. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Shake your legs, hands to the side, palms facing up. Take five minutes here, guys, to relax yourself before you move into your daily duties or whatever you have to do. Relax here. Thank you for watching. I don't know who was inside, who did it, who did not. Yes, before uh, I end this class, I want to read to you the message, the card that we draw before beginning the class. It's a beautiful card, actually. So, the card I draw is this new day. And it says, I'm, I'm still reading from my book because I'm just learning. A new day enables us to see in a brand new light. We can see more clearly once the shadows of fear and doubt are brushed away by the light of creation. Once the initial shock of discovering the duality in a situation has worn off, you can find comfort that there is Truly, it's no bad or good. It just is. When this is realized, the possibilities for the outcome of a situation becomes endless. These cards also advise to wait. Everything regarding this situation has yet to unfold. So, this is a beautiful message for today, guys. Like, um, like I always said, every day brings new possibilities. So today it's a new day, we should be thankful for that and keep this message in mind with you for the day. Uh, we'll do this again next Saturday, I hope you can join. Um, thank you for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you, Easy, oh you were here. Okay. Thank you guys, see you. Bye. We're gonna have a lot of fun together. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll see you soon.